In this video, we're going to take a look at the characteristics or the qualities of a bad graph and then those of a good graph. So what's the problem with this graph here? Well, probably the biggest problem, the glaring problem here, is that this data here only takes up a small portion of the space we have to use. So I want you to utilize the entire x-axis and the entire y-axis, or at least um, as much of it as you can reasonably. What about this graph? Well, this graph has loads of things wrong with it. There's no title. There's no best fit line. And there aren't any labels or units here, and there aren't any labels or units here. What about this one? It's, of course, missing a title. That's obvious. Um, but what else is wrong with this graph? Well, the big problem here is that this really isn't the best fit line. What this person has done is, without even using a ruler, they've kind of just connected the dots almost, and it's kind of like in, in a wavy fashion. So anytime you make a best fit line, um, you're going to want to use a ruler for that. What about these two graphs? Compare the two of these. Of course, this one's missing a title, but what else? Well, this one has a label and a unit, where this graph here only has units. Same thing on the y-axis. We have distance and centimeters, but here it just says centimeters. And then this graph, this person has connected the dots. In science class, we don't want to connect the dots. I don't know what that's like in other disciplines. Um, I've heard that sometimes it, it, it can be different. Um, but it's my understanding that in science, we always want to make a best fit line. Because what the best fit line represents is an average of our data set. We can also, of course, calculate the slope. Um, and that means something as well. We can calculate the area under the curve. Um, but ultimately, if we connect the dots, that's kind of accentuating the importance of each data point. And we don't want to do that. We want to um, draw general conclusions about the data set. So we want our line to be an average or a best fit line. So same thing here once again. This person has connected the dots. This person has made a correct best fit line. It's an average of, of the data, and it's using a ruler. Um, and this person has, of course, given us labels and units and then labels and units where this person has not.